There's a new Mastercraft weapon in Modern Warfare 3 coming in the insert coin bundle. The first thing you get is the high score skin for Doc. Then we've got the Arcade Rhythm Mastercraft, meaning it's going to have a unique weapon inspect when you take it in game. We've got the Coin Feeder Blueprint, both of these having Arcade CRT Tracers and Pixelated Dismemberment. Little bit of a sneak preview here. And yes, these tracers can be used on other weapons. We got a calling card, a weapon sticker, a weapon charm, a loading screen, and an emblem. We're going to take these in game, fully test out all these tracers, take it into zombies, pack a punch it. If you want to see more bundle reviews like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. Here's Doc's high score skin in game. There's a single knee pad on the left. We got a Nintendo game glove looking thing on the hand an extremely chunky headset. That's got the sliders on the side. Couldn't imagine using that neon headband. Uh, turn around on the back there's a skateboard there and uh, some very nice bright yellow pants oh there's also a walkman on the front of the skin a very unique looking skin uh it's not reactive it doesn't evolve but uh unique to say the least and if for some reason you want to see the skin in the dark here it is but it doesn't light up the neon pants do give you a little bit away in dark spots though just a tiny bit the bundle says it includes the neck trauma finishing move but that's doc's default finishing move so you already have it but here's what all the versions look like on this skin Now for the blueprints, here's the MTZ Interceptor. And even though this is the secondary blueprint in the bundle, it's still got a lot going on. We've got a joystick replacing the bolt. There's coins in the bottom of the mag. Insert to start. It's got some buttons there wherever the select fire is. If this did have fire modes, it looks like you'd press the buttons to switch it from single fire to full auto. A uh, little screen in the back that says out of order. Then we've got the Rival 9, the main one. These coming with the arcade CRT tracers. So, oh, it's got a custom sound too. Oh, they sound different. We've got high caliber. And a lower caliber. Even just shooting these tracers in the air, you can tell they're very unique. It's got a rainbow trailing effect and the tracers look a little bit bigger than normal. Now let's see the impact effect. Whatever you shoot, you get a little digital effect. There's also a pixelation explosion wherever it hits. And if we spam it, yeah, super noticeable. Is the MTZ interceptor any bigger? Uh, no, I don't think it's any bigger. It also ejects coins when you shoot instead of shells. We can probably see it better on this. Yeah, look at it. Oh, look at all the coins. We're rich boys. We can turn bullets into coins. However, I'm pretty sure the cost of the bullets is more than what the coins are worth, but it doesn't matter. Okay, these tracers are super bright in a dark area. These are probably going to look fantastic when we get to zombies. Now for the pixelated hit marker and death effects on these weapons. So if we shoot an enemy, it looks pretty much the exact same when you shoot the ground so there is no custom hit marker effect all right now what happens when we kill someone oh we, we delete them into into pixels and then the pixels disappear gone deletion the sound hold on hold on listen to the sound is it different there is there's different sounds how many different versions is there so it's got a nice little game over effect when you kill someone Game over, buddy. Wait a minute. Is the pitch getting higher and higher as we go on a higher kill streak? No, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I think that was just a placebo. I thought it was getting higher and higher as we got kills, which would have been a cool effect. But I like how there's just a bunch of different game over sounds when you kill people. Uh, let's see if there's anything different for a headshot. Nope, but Starlight just got blasted. Gone. Deleted. 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 Now in the dark. Ooh, lights up the entire room when you take them out. I like how you can see the green on the roof. There's about to be so many pixels. Ooh, it's a mountain from a distance yeah when it comes to death effects i prefer this mastercraft way more than the other anime mastercraft this one's a lot more my style than the other one that's cool if you take the sight off the mastercraft it says fire underneath and i feel like a lot of people who buy this mastercraft are probably going to take off the site and they're going to run it like this so you get a nice little effect underneath when you scope in unfortunately uh this is the iron sights for the other weapon in the bundle <laughs> it says e114022 if that's uh any interest to you but i love when they add little extra effects to the iron sights on weapons even when they come with a scope on them by default. Wait, do the death effects work on... Oh, no. The death effects work on teammates. 
That is, um... That's probably the most disrespectful way to take out a teammate. Imagine getting team killed by someone in hardcore and you just explode into a bunch of pixels. What happens if... Wait, can I, can I explode myself into pixels? Hold on. Oh, yeah. If you got friendly fire on and you kill a teammate, um, it explodes you into pixels instead. Now, here's what happens when you inspect the Rival 9 Mastercraft... Okay, are there different variations? Wow, so uh, that's uh, different. So you pull the gun to the side, it zooms in, you start playing it, it loads up Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. There's a progress bar at the top. Once it gets all the way to the end, it says update requires restart. And then it restarts. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot like COD. You essentially keep launching it and it just keeps telling you to update requires restart. There's also like a crazy green smoke effect around the entire weapon. Yeah, I, I never thought there would be a weapon inspect that involved update requires restart. And I, I never thought we'd see Call of Duty use the update requires restart in like a meme way. That is, um, we've come full circle. We've done it. When even Call of Duty is making fun of the update requires restart, uh, it, it is now gone in a complete loop. Unfortunately, unlike the other Mastercraft, there isn't different variations when you inspect the weapon. It's exactly the same each time. Same music, uh, same Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, same update requires restart. It would have been kind of cool if there was different Call of Duties that popped up, maybe Call of Duty Ghost, which is weird because in the menu, it shows Call of Duty goes pop up, and if it just would have cycled through a bunch of different Call of Duties, that's a different variation they could have done. But uh, either way, the inspect is pretty sick, and for being our second Mastercraft in this game, pretty fire. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, that, that's where I saw Call of Duty Ghost. When you're not inspecting it, it's Call of Duty Ghost. So, that's weird. So, it's COD Ghost, but the second you load up the game, it, it loads up Advanced Warfare, and then it crashes and update requires restart. Here's what it looks like when other people inspect the Mastercraft. Yeah, so unfortunately, uh, it's just the default inspect. There's nothing special uh, when you inspect it. It is, um, yeah, you get to see the cool little ghost thing. For everyone else, all they're seeing is you play with your gun and check the chamber. That That is it. However, other people can see when you shoot. So you can get, um, oh, <laughs> a pixelated death. Three, two, one, go. Sorry, Laura. Let's quickly see what happens when we take all the attachments off these blueprints and if we can use the tracers and other weapons. Unfortunately, with the Rival 9, if you take off the barrel, you're losing a lot of the blueprint. So make sure you like the Rival IGS 800 barrel because that's the attachment you want to be running if you want it to look like this. And if you take it off, this is what you're going to be left with. Now for the MTZ Interceptor, go ahead, take all of these off. And this blueprint still looks pretty good, so it doesn't really matter if you customize the attachments. For the Rival 9, if you take off the attachments, you are going to keep the muzzle flash and you're going to keep the tracers. And why does the muzzle flash look so much different now? I did not see this muzzle flash when we were in... Huh. Well, apparently it also has a pretty crazy muzzle flash. Oh yeah, there's definitely a muzzle flash there. I'm not sure why I didn't notice that before, but yeah, this gun also has a crazy green muzzle flash. MTZ Interceptor also has it as well. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, the MTZ Interceptor is gonna lose its tracers when you take off the ammo type. You have to run the ammo type that was on the blueprint. Uh, this high grade rounds right here. This is what gives it the tracers. And if you take it off, you lose them. However, this does mean you can use it on other weapons as well. Here is the battle rifle version of the MTZ. And you can see when we use this, uh, it has all of the tracer effects. It's also gonna have the death effects, has the custom sound, has the green pixelation effects. So any weapon in the entire game that has 762 times 51 mm high grain rounds, you're able to go to skins and you're able to equip these tracers on that weapon. Oh, no way. It works on the tack eradicator. This is one of my favorite weapons using zombies. And now we got the green pixelated tracers on the tack eradicator. That's, that's a dub. That's a dub. That's a dub. These tracers are sick. And we also got to have them on the tack eradicator when we use it now. Charm and sticker that comes in the bundle. The sticker's pretty forgettable. The charm's an arcade machine. It's got a screen on. Does the screen light up when we take it in the dark? Uh, no. No, it does not. Also got a massive joystick on that thing. Here's a quick little preview of Mastery Camos on the blueprints. The camo covers the entire gun, making it look like the default version of the weapon. You still get to see the screens and you still get to see the joysticks on them. But besides that, it doesn't look too different. 
one interesting thing that I saw is camos for some reason are brighter on the MTZ compared to the Rival 9. And the Rival 9 makes the camos look really dull and dark. Uh, you can see it with Borealis very well. It seems like the Rival 9 removes the lighting effects off of the camo. Now let's test out the bundle and zombies. And the operator skin is really cool because now we can go in third person and we can get a really good look at the skateboard on the back. Now, as for the weapon inspect, it should be the exact same in zombies, but it doesn't hurt to double check. Yeah, weapon inspect exactly the same. It doesn't change whatsoever. Now, hopefully the death effects work because that's the best part of the bundle. And no, the death effect does not work in zombies. That is so disappointing because the last bundle, the death effects worked in zombies against zombies. But most of the bundles in Modern Warfare 3, you take them in zombies uh, and you kill a zombie, you don't get the special death effect. But the other stuff works. The custom bullet sounds work perfectly fine in zombies. The tracer effects, wherever you shoot, even the impact effects work on the zombies. The zombies even have the game over sound effect when you kill them. So everything works except for the death effect. Wait, do they explode into coins? Hold on. Oh, wait, there's no way. Does this have a different death effect when you take out a zombie? I don't know. Maybe that's... I can't tell if those are coins or not. Yeah, it does. I, I guess that's part of the death effect in multiplayer and that part of it works. Honestly, the whole zombie situation for bundles in this game is so weird. So this weapon has different death effects depending on what mode you're playing. In MP, they turn into a bunch of pixels. In zombies, they turn into a handful of coins. Now, what about dogs? Dogs usually have the normal death effect. Are those still going to have the normal pixelated death effect? Or are those going to turn into coins? And what about mercenaries too? Uh, but first, we got to find a dog. Oh, here's a dog. All right, so we take out the dog. Oh, yeah, the pixelation effect still works on the dogs. It's just zombies that have that coin death effect instead. All right, what about mercenaries? If we snipe this dude from a range, yeah. So mercenaries and dogs get vanished into pixels and then zombies turn into coins. Oh my God, he was in the air. Dude, this death effect is so cool. I really wish this worked against zombies. It would be a little annoying and a little bright to see every zombie you kill turn into a crap ton of lights but uh, I, it'd be worth it. Each and every zombie we kill is gonna play the death effect sound. This could get a little much. Just constant game over noises. I could definitely see that getting a little bit old if you're farming thousands of kills with this weapon. Oh yeah. In uh, dark locations, uh, the, the, the effect's a little bright. It's that time, pack a punch time. So let's go ahead, pack a punch these blueprints, see what they look like. Um, so, wow, who would have known that it's just like putting the camos on. It covers everything uh, but the screen. Let's inspect it while it's pack a punched. Oh, the green fits. The green fits with the green. Okay, zombie, can you? Uh, I'm kind of doing something here. Having a moment. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Imagine if when you pack a punch it, the game changed. Oh, uh, nope. Update requires restart. Like, that's never going to happen. But imagine how cool that would be if the Mastercrafts had different inspects when you pack a punch them. Like, for zombies specifically, like, you know, you pack a punch the gun, it gets even cooler. But uh, it, it's the same thing, which we expected. That obviously it's not going to change when you uh, pack a punch the weapon. Overall, this bundle is probably my favorite map. Well, I, I'm saying it's my favorite Mastercraft. There's two. There's two Mastercrafts. It only has one other to compete with, and it's the anime one. But out of the two, I don't watch anime, so I prefer this one, even though the inspect... I, I feel like it could have been a little bit better. But overall, still amazing for one of the first Mastercrafts we got here. Is the bundle worth 20 bucks? It, it really depends on you. If you like the cosmetics, then I guess it's worth it for you. If you don't, then it's, it's not. I'm not going to make the decision for you. Uh, you're an adult. You can make your own decision. The tracers, I just wish the tracers worked in zombies. I wish the death effect works in zombies. That's my really one big complaint about this bundle. If they fix that, using these tracers, since you can use the tracers on a bunch of different weapons, would be really fun tracers and death effects to use in zombies. But the fact that it doesn't work... I mean, you still get the cool little green stuff. It's just not as cool seeing the zombies obliterate into a bunch of pixels. But with that, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. If you want to see more bundle reviews in the future, we fully test out everything so you can make an informed decision before you buy the bundle, make sure to unlock that sub button. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Peace.